Only players that do not have their name on the Stanley Cup can be a part of this team. I have no idea how I haven't done this before considering I've done a Stanley Cup Champions only draft, but you know what? Better late than never, I suppose. I'm gonna set up a special randomized rule today so that I'm gonna keep going until we get a team that hasn't won the Stanley Cup. Which I think there's, I don't know, maybe 10 teams, 11 teams, something like that. Hopefully we get lucky and get one on the first random. No, they have won many Stanley Cups. So that does not count. Watch us end up getting Smashville again. Wouldn't that just be the way? Random, we get the pity pens. No, once again, Stanley Cups have been won. Guys, give me a random here. Honestly, what is going on? I'm not gonna give up, I will keep doing this. Really? At this rate, half the video is just gonna be trying to get a team. There we go, thank you. Did you guys know that their logo is actually a bear? Yeah, I know. The important stuff, owner mode, no, do not tell me what to do. Do not edit my lines, it doesn't matter what your name is, jabroni. Player morale, sure. Fog of War, no. And obviously Fantasy Draft will be on because that is the point of the video. This will be super old news at this point, but this is my first time recording since it has happened. So, congratulations to the Golden Knights on winning their first Stanley Cup in franchise history. I mean, took them long enough, am I right? I'll be here all day. Or for the next probably 12 to 13 minutes. We are getting draft pick number 10. Yeah, that seems like a good number. Let's see how incorrect I am. We get number 15. So I was, you know, in the ballpark. I feel like that saying does not work when there's 32, you know? Like if we're talking about hundreds of thousands and you're trying to ballpark something, then sure. But when there's 32 options and you're five away, not quite sure that's a ballpark. Anywho, let's draft. I could bring back Kirill. That is a very possible option. Tage Thompson. Another great pickup, 91 overall. Jason Robertson, oh man, they are not making this easy. I wanna take someone new. So I'm either gonna go with Hughes or Darlene. And I'm not sure which player I wanna select yet. Center playmaker, okay, so he would start out the offense really good. Darlene, 91 overall, two-way defender. Let's go with Rasmus, fine. Mark Stone has now won a Stanley Cup, well earned. That team was an absolute wagon. He may be a two-way forward, but don't let that deceive you because he does have a five-star shooting category. So, Philip Forsberg could join our first line. Yeah, I think, you know what, let's do it. I am still very upset with the Washington Capitals for that Martin Erat trade. Why? Wait, really? Why is Troy Terry still here? Another two-way forward, but... I mean, 1.4 million and 87 overall? Are you kidding me? So he's a left winger that shoots right. I could, hear me out, I could draft Jonathan Huberdo, who's got an X factor, four abilities there as well, not a big deal. And he's a left winger that shoots left. So I can play Forsberg on the right side is what I'm trying to say. Or I could just grab Troy Terry, who is a Center. Okay, Troy, fine. You convinced me. Rasmus shoots left. That is perfect. I will scoop up Brandon Montour, who is a right-handed defender, 87 overall, 3.5. Seems good to me. Actually, would Montour and Dalene have been teammates at one point? I feel like they would have. According to Hockey DB, they were for three years. Chandler, 2.7 and two-time Stanley Cup champion. Now with the Golden Knights, but I will be taking Captain America, he needs a cup. I feel bad for him. Joe Pavelski, guy comes back from an injury, scores four goals in the playoffs. I need that kind of dedication on my team. Yeah. So, there's no goalies with abilities remaining. And I've already made my mind up. We're going with Carell, the man, the myth. 84 overall will be our starting netminder. He'll get it done. Don't worry. Okay, I'm a little bit worried, actually. Mr. Con Smythe, Jonathan Marchessault, you are not eligible for this draft, unfortunately. Let's try to stack up our defense a little bit here. John Klingberg, yeah, second pair defender. It'll work out splendidly. Or it won't. I guess we'll find out. Corey Krug is a left defender. He could play with Klingberg. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Unfortunately, Krejci has won a Stanley Cup. So, can't take him this draft. Otherwise, I would. Boone. Yeah. Second line center. We actually don't have an official centerman yet. Troy Terry is right wing slash center, and I'm just going to put him in the middle. We'll see what happens. Maybe Boone will take that role. I highly doubt it, but 
I'm just saying you never know. Connor Brown would be a nifty little pickup for the second line. Another two-way forward. At this point, it's the two-way forward draft. That's what this has become. 95 discipline. I want you on my team. A playmaker. At 83 overall, Trevor Moore, less than 2 million, seems pretty solid to me. So, long story short, I'm signing him. Centers dwindled a lot faster than I thought they would. I'm going to go with Paul. Nice shot, Paul. He is a power forward. And then I might take Scott Lawton immediately after, to be honest with you, and just lock down that middle core. And then I'll probably take a goalie because I think we need to. Well, that's just rude. Someone stole Scott Lawton from us. I will find out who you are. I probably won't do that. Scott Wedgwood is going to be our backup netminder. So you know what? We got two solid goalies. Another two-way forward. What could possibly go wrong? 80 face-offs. He's also six foot five, so he is a menu. And he will be another center joining our team. I feel like I only need left wingers at this point. Well, I guess I need one right winger because we're going to be playing Terry in the middle, most likely. Definitely can't draft that guy. Fill the thrill. Three-time Stanley Cup champion. We do still need our final defensive pair. So Scott Mayfield will be kicking that off. And I am just now realizing how much cap space we have left, considering we only need five more players. Okay, I can be a bit of a big spender here. Marcus Foligno, he usually takes the most penalty minutes or has the most fights. Sometimes both. That's the kind of guy I want on my team right there. I mean, yeah, sure, I want disciplined players, but that's like up near the top, you know? The third and fourth line go crazy. I mean, maybe not like super crazy, but kind of crazy. Another two-way forward, he fits the bill. Right winger, Frankie Vitrano will probably be on our fourth line. So basically, I need two left wingers, or just wingers in general, we'll figure it out later, and a left-handed defenseman. We do have the dollars for it, so I'm gonna sign Nate Schmidt, who narrowly missed out on winning a cup with the Capitals. Yeah, I liked him, he was a good defenseman. We need two more players, and we have 14 million. So I am probably gonna go all in. Center and right winger. Charlie Coyle, he's only got 75 face-offs, but, you know, it is what it is. Power forward? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go. And with the final selection of this draft, I'm gonna take JVR simply because I can. Boom! Draft completed. JVR's brother won a cup, but not JVR. Here is our squadron at a glance. I don't know, it looks good. I feel like I need to see it in the edit line screen, obviously. But looking at this, you know, the first line should have chemistry. We're gonna have Terry in the middle, Forsberg and Pavelski. So there's abilities there. At least a plus three, maybe even a plus five. We got Darlene with Montour. Yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna be a solid team. Every player on this team has that one thing in common. They've never won a cup. Even the franchise they're playing for has not. So it would be a first for literally everybody. Show me the chemistry, come on. It's gotta be decent. Hello? Okay, run it back. I'm gonna do preferred lines. And this is a nightmare. Even if I move him up here, it is a zero. What is that all about? Okay, this isn't bad, actually. We've got zero, one, one, zero. You know, that could work. Not a massive fan of the fact we have a playmaker on the fourth line, but if I try to move... Hmm. I think I am gonna do that, because then we get a plus two instead of a plus one. Connor Brown kinda gets finessed, but... Sorry, pal. Sometimes it just works out that way. Yeah, there's not much I can really do. What if I move the whole line up? See if we can do anything like that. I guess you know what I prefer to have the plus one on the third line when we're rolling three lines? Probably. But, no. I'm gonna have Connor Brown on the third line. So now we've got Moore, who's a playmaker. Boon Jenner, two-way forward, and then the sniper. Forsberg is a two-way forward. It's just a whole two-way forward line, as a matter of fact. But, Forsberg can shoot the puck. And it just so happens that Troy Terry can as well. So we can and we will. Ooh, Pavelski is a centerman also. Who's got the better draws? By far it is Joey. Get in there. Alright, this is solid. I'm okay with that. Defensively, please be alright. What the heck? Let's go! This is amazing! We have to have a defensive head coach. We have to. That is an absolute thing of beauty. Two-way defender. We do have a defensive defenseman and an offensive defenseman mixed in there. Top pair is the two ways, but you know what? I just can't believe what I'm seeing right now. And then in net, we've got Carell with Scott. 
46 wins. We're in the lofts. Forsberg gets the most points with 77. We're not going to get a lot of goals, but we will win hockey games. I honestly feel like it wouldn't have been a bad shout to take Darlene as the top point guy. Or maybe even Troy Terry. Oh dear, that's not a good start. Okay. Okay. It's only uphill from here. We literally cannot do worse. Nah, okay. I'm best linesing it. I doubt it's going to make a difference, but I feel like we just have a stinker on our hands. Fill up! Come on! Have it your way, jabroni. Best lines. How? How? Why is this preferred? Whatever. I think we're currently on pace to have the worst draft I've ever done. I am baffled. This is insane. I thought we would at least be decent. You know, like floating around the playoff picture. But right now we're a joke. Dallas Stars have canned Dominic Meyer. Mayer. One of the two. Should I go have a peek? Maybe we could hire him. Strangely, our head coach is forwards. Our whole coaching staff is forwards, actually. Mayer is defensive specialty, which I feel like we kind of need. He is a 70% fit. What is Dixon? Let's have a look here. 60, nice, nice. Something's gotta give. I think the coach is just gonna be the scapegoat in this situation. Dixon, I'm sorry, you're done, pal. And I will promote you to the interim head coach as I go and hire this other lad. Offer oh, that contract. Get back to me in a few days. Sounds good. I'm happy to join your team. Wonder if the chemistry changed at all. I'm gonna try another preferred lines here and it wants a dash one. Are you kidding me? Coil, you're moving up. Nice. That way we get a plus one there. Now they get a plus three. Okay. So, we're getting somewhere, and I will modify the lines ever so slightly. Okay, so we get a plus three, a zero, a plus two, and then we're rolling all four lines now. We have normal ice time allocation. Defense, we lost a little bit, but I'm not that upset about it. 303, perfectly fine. Will that make a massive difference? Probably not, but it was worth a shot. Big W in our first game with the new coach, and then we go and get deleted by the Rangers. All right, we're doing decent with this new coach, but still not good. Playoffs are impossible at this point, so I will go into the trade deadline just to see players, but I'm not making any moves, as it is pointless. Kuzi's up there, we got Spurgeon. This is a pretty weak trade deadline, to be honest with you. Well, I guess that's good because we're not doing anything anyway. That's a trade. Pareko, Eberly, and Martinuk headed to the St. Louis Blues in exchange for Korchinski, a second, and a third. Also, Spurgeon and two-thirds headed to Edmonton in exchange for Kuznetsov and a sixth. It's a pretty happening trade deadline considering. I'll just sim right up past the playoffs and then we'll go look at all the stats at once. Because there's no point... If we aren't going to be playing in the playoffs to go look at the season stats and then come back. We kind of turned up the Jets in the post-trade deadline a little bit. Not a lot, but we've been winning more games than ever before. Somehow. Yeah, I can honestly say I did not see that coming. Thought we were going to be alright. But boy was I wrong. Our Stanley Cup champion is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Thankfully, we did not finish last in the division. And Arizona wasn't that far ahead of us. So you know what? We did bad. But we weren't the worst. Okay, the President's Trophy curse just isn't a thing in this game. Toronto wins both. 109 points on the year. They had Vinny Trocek as their first line. What am I looking at? What is this? This is the team that won the... Pro All right. The Ducks finished second with 108 points. They had Tage Thompson, Ovechkin, and Barabanov. That's a pretty good first line, gotta say. They got Couture, Hayes, and Kuzmenko, Ranta, and Huso, and Nett. Still, though, Dewey on the second pair. I don't know if he'd be too happy about that. 15 and 16, no thank you. But 17, Montreal Canadiens. And then we got the 19th place Florida Panthers also qualifying. We were third last in the league. Columbus was dead last. They had Erickson Eck with Anderson and Keller. Brandon Tanev, Kent Johnson, and Don Skoy. Soup and net. Yeah. Yeah, that one kind of checks out. This one, not so much. The Dallas Stars finished second last in the league. They had Allmark in net. That's good. Sorelli as their third line center. 
Wild Bill on the second line right wing, playing with Turbo and Reinhardt, Eichel, Kachuk, Besser. They have a good team. I had the wrong increment of 11. Instead of 77, which I think I said, he got 66, and it was a dash 12. Pavelski was a plus 5 at least. 64 points, Troy Terry. Oh, what a bad year. I don't want to blame the goalies. I feel like they probably got left out to dry quite a lot, but those numbers are... Nothing short of pathetic. Bazzi convincingly gets the most wins. He did have six more games played than the next goalie. So gotta factor that in. But he had a 9-12 and a 274. Pretty good year, if you ask me. A 9-12 for Sorokin, 9-14 down here for Igor. What the heck? Quinn Hughes with 105 points. Who the heck was he playing with? They gotta be up here as well, no? Somewhere? Seriously? That could very well be an Art Ross winning season for Quinn Hughes. Monumental. Moment of truth. Did he, in fact, get the most points in the entire league? He did! Matthews had 104. He was one short. So the Art Ross goes to Quinn Hughes. What an odd simulation. Leon Dreisaitl with 101. McDusty got 99. Just shy of 50 goals. Come on, Connor. Did we at least fight? Yes. Yes, we did. Thanks, Mark. Also led penalty minutes by quite a bit. I suppose that checks out when you had the most fights. By a lot. Quinn Hughes, top of the league. Interesting. In the playoffs, Matthews made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals, only to be deleted by the Toronto Maple Leafs. How about that? JT Miller's up there, 31 points. Gold Caulfield. So this first line must have been nasty. Trocek at 26. Is he going to be the Conn Smythe winner? What a weird simulation this was. Connor Hellebuck shut the door. 931 save percentage. To be fair, Spencer Knight did amazing as well with a 935. He had his guy. And cannot overlook Jesper Wallstedt, who was clearly the starting goalie for the San Jose Sharks at 80 overall. And got the job done. Hughes would have the second most amount of points in the playoffs for defensemen. Tony up at the top with 18. Seth Jones with 15. What's really impressive is Lindholm right here, 15 games played, 13 points. This is another situation where I swear on my life, if Hellebuck doesn't get the Conn Smythe, I think it is genuinely impossible for a goalie to win that trophy. We should know all of the team awards by now, Toronto cleaning up. If we go to individual trophies, there it is, Quinn Hughes with the Art Ross. He would also receive the Hart Memorial, no surprise there, and the Norris, and the Lady Bing. Slavkovsky getting the Calder for the Seattle Kraken. Vinny Trocek gets the Conn Smythe. What a robbery. That is outrageous. I just don't understand. Vasilevsky won it. You know? What, did he get a shutout every single game? And they were finally like, well, yeah, maybe he's earned it. Jari gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Uh, David, I think is his first name. Gets the Masterton. Denny Pepin. Throw me a bone here. Barkov with the Selkie. Quinn Hughes also gets the Lindsay. And Dreisaitl with the Rocket Richard. Your playoff tree, it went to seven in the Stanley Cup Finals. In fact, Toronto went to seven every series except for round one where they swept the Florida Panthers. And San Jose never went to seven until the Stanley Cup Final. Well, that was that. That's pretty much all I can say about it. Very unfortunate. Not expected. But hey... Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. It's just the way she goes. If you enjoyed the video, if you could leave a like, that'd be nasty, okay? Um, if you could subscribe, that would also be filthy. Um, I'll see you soon.